Hey everybody, how you all doing? Widner Dave here. Tell you what, whoo, is it cold here. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Well, not doing much in the shop right now, but I am doing a little bit. I had that surgery last week and you know, I've got to be careful what I do and, and everything, but I'm an old dog. I don't like to be told what to do. Everybody knows me. They know how I am. But I'm just kind of playing with a couple little things today and just messing around. That's all I'm doing. You know what that is. It's one of those little boat shelves. I've seen these things on all kinds of channels and stuff and my god the prices are unreal I don't see how anybody could justify the prices of that Lord have mercy come on let's be real about it that's just ripping people off I think I've seen one for about that size right there for like $80 like, where is $80 worth of wood at? You know? Where is 80 bucks? I don't see $80. I told my wife that there's no way in God that I'd give 80 bucks for one of these. Nope. So what I did is, you know me, I draw everything. I come up with my own plans, stuff like that. Make some thin wood. I'm going to build a jig right here so when I bend this wood around here I can clamp it down on my work table here and I can there's no sense of steaming this you know nothing I'll build a jig and this will bend right around and all that I know it's hard to see I I apologize but I'm just playing today I'm not really doing that much I came up with this shelf here and what I did I I don't know if you can see it folks like maybe a little bit I carved the lines in right here to here to make it look like it had extra boards. But I put three, yeah, three. I put three biscuits in here. I don't, you know, that way it's strong. And I clamped it together and everything. And I, uh, that way I know my stuff ain't going to fall apart. This is making sure it's, you know, using the square here. Making sure that this shelf that I put in right here. See that shelf right there? I'm just checking square in this. Make sure she's up. I put a little bit of glue and everything. I tell you, for crafting, I'm not sponsored by these people or nothing. Let me get this up here. You can see the old man. I'm not sponsored or nothing, but if you're a crafter, you want some darn good glue by Wellbond. I'm telling you, it's worth your money. Highly worth your money. I, I love this stuff. Now, this ain't for major stuff. You still want your, you know, your carpenter's glue. But for crafts like this, this stuff is, it, it does what it says, well bond. It's worth your money. I, I really like that. Um, I'm telling you, hey, if somebody out there sees that and they want to sponsor me for uh, using well bond, well, I'll give you the best reviews about it because it's, it's e excellent. That's one of the things I've been thinking about doing is, doing uh, product uh, reviews where they, where they send you products and you can, you know, give your honest opinion, especially in, I'm trying to find something in woodworking. That's where my strongest points are. So maybe find new products and then they pay you for it. Shoot, I, I would love to do it. Make, make a few extra dollars on the side. Now what I'll have to do are these, you know, these angles here, these angles right here was uh, lovely to find because this this thing has got an arch. Is this is not straight? It's got an arch, so you have to figure out this angle. Well, I don't got none of them angle doodaddy things and all that stuff. See the angle? You just got to use the old Google brain and figure it out. That's all it takes is just think about it. And then I took this piece of wood here and I just stand it down. See how it bends? It flexes. I'll cut several of these. 
I've got the other shelf made, but what I had to do, let's trade up here. What I had to do is I had to get one made. I had to get the bottom made here so I can measure off up here so I can stick this other shelf in. It's just going to have two shelves. That's it. And then I will bend the sides around. And there's, you know, there's a little bit of work in this. Let me show you the eagle. Everybody's been asking about her. There she is. See how I texture it? There's the eagle. See that right there? She is 100% done. Now, the biggest problem as an artist, I redraw this already once. Okay? And I still don't like it. I still don't like it. There's things I see, things I, I, don't, I don't care about. You know, in dimension, in, in portion. So, gonna do it again. Well, I've been drawn again. And now I know it's gonna look dissimilar, but it's not. I've redrawed it again. I have changed all this up and through here. I have changed a lot of this in through here. Where the beak is right in through here, it's all been changed. All on top of this has been changed. You can see where I've been drawing. See all the lines and stuff? Do daddies. So now I'm happy. I think I am. It's fattened up. You know, I may, and I don't know yet, I may redraw this line right here to bring it out just a little fat. I, you know, I may just, I, let's just see what she looks like. Let's just see what she looks like. Taper that baby doll in there. See? That right there changes it even more. Nice and fat. Nice fat feathers right through here. See that right there? That's my brain. My brain screams at me sometimes. I do something and I'm like, wow, it's done. And everybody goes, that's cool, Wither Dave. I love it. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I don't like this. And they go, oh, it's perfect. I'm like, no, there's nothing in this world's perfect. Hell, I'm going to tell you that right now. Nothing. But it's the artist in me. And then I'll draw all the stars in there. I fattened all this up and everything because I, I, I want to try to fit a better star in between right here. So let's get rid of this line right here. That's my racer. You like my racer? Works, don't it? Don't work on paper. <laughs> Let's just, let's redraw this. Now, let's come in here, do this. Little whoop-de-doo, little add a little swoopy-doo here. Yep. And maybe, let's do that. Yep, see, I don't like something right there. So, this is flat. It's got to be hung around. Now let's... Huh. And I could draw that star in there. Okay, now right here. See right here? Right there. Let's just change that up a notch. Okay? Now... Let's just bring that baby doll right up here and let's swoop it. And it don't look flat. There you go. There you go. Now, I think that just may do it. That gives me a little bit more room right in here to put that star. Because I how many stars I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine stars. I'd like to try to pull off maybe ten to make it even up. So I I've, I've actually fattened this right here. 
We could go just a tad more. Just like that. And then that way, it gives me more of a broader area right through here. Let's use that racer again. But yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm feeling better. I Every day is a new day for me on this surgery. Yeah, let's just... Yeah. yeah. There we go. Now look at that arch right there. I know you can't... It don't look like much with the eagle I did, but it is. It's significant. I like that a lot better. I do. I mean, a person could even draw another feather in here. But I think... One, two, three. See, red, white, red, white, red, white. You could do... You know, I'll have to think about this. I didn't think about this stuff. But it's running off, too. Because there's... These go this way. No, I don't like that. So... Gotta get that racer out. Okay, let's just stay with this. Yeah. And I've changed all this right through here. All this has been changed. You know. All this has been changed. I've, I've drawn this thing. This makes the second time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think that just may do it finally. I apologize for the old hand. I gotta put my hand somewhere to draw. Just a lot fatter in places. Well, we're gonna get that one cut out. I call this a block carving. It's a, something I've drawn, and now I'm, I'll, I'll cut all this out and carve it and have another one. It won't take me long. I'm gonna. I draw this on a piece of paper, so now I'll put that on some paper. I think I like that pattern a lot. I mean, I like this, and then I'm going to do the country boy hang. I'll draw a little hole right there in the top. Put it on the wall. Boop! There you go. Hang it up. Don't need nothing fancy. Not at all. I don't know if I showed you this. See the little shelf bear? You know, I, I carved bigger ones and stuff, so... You know, there was another guy on YouTube, he did a couple of these, and I thought, well, shoot, I'll just draw one for myself. You know, there's my version. Just a simple little shelf there, and, you know, I can't remember the guy's name that was doing them on YouTube, but he's a phenomenal carver. There he is. Just simple. I make a lot larger ones for uh, porches, and they sit on there. It's nothing really fancy. My good friend Brian came over this morning and showed me something he'd been making for his wife, and I love it. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know, he goes, it's not perfect. I said, it's perfect. Life's not perfect. It's perfect. You made it from your, for your wife, so that right there makes it absolutely perfect. And I, he made a cross, and I think he did a wonderful job making a cross for his wife. So I told him... We have a full wood shop. Anybody comes to Tennessee, you want to play with some wood or you want to learn this and that, you just want to sit down with an old man and carve, let's go for it. I'll make you something. And I'll show you some other things. Like I said, I've always loved carving hearts. Golly. So there's another simple little heart. Anybody can carve these. You can say, I put a double heart, made up some paint. 
And of course, I'm going to show Brian, my good friend. I said, well, why don't we just come up with something and you just sit around when you're you're bored or something because he's originally from Florida and he, he takes care of the motel behind my house. He does all their maintenance. They needed somebody to restore it, so he's been here for over a year and his wife lives in Florida and he lives here. So he gets boards up. I said, why don't I just make you a shoe? Show you how to carve a shoe. I just carved this one the other day. See the little mouse in it? I love carving shoes. I have since I've been a little boy. You can't go wrong with something. This is art. This is fun. Right here. This is pure love. There's no right. There's no wrong. Just whittle. Just knock you out a little shoe. So I'm going to set him up, you know, some of these and, you know, and I didn't, you know, I ain't been doing much since my surgery, so, no, I just carved another shelf mouse. See him looking for cheese? He's just, he hangs over right there. Just something. I make up the paint, collar him up, and everything. Been working on that cowboy duck. I got, I got, it's half painted, and uh, I got to paint the hat, finish up the boots. Stuff like that. But I'm just like I said, I'm I wanted to build one of these crazy shelf things because I about phenomenally fell over on the price. Lord have mercy. There's just it's not worth the money for what they're asking for. No. I mean I didn't fall off the banana boat yesterday, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. I gotta put this shelf in where I wanted. I wanted to have two shelves so now I can come up with tape measure that'd be about right there on the no way I got it upside down folks did I hang on what in the world is going on okay that's goes I did have it upside down so it's got to go somewhere Not in through there. Yeah. Let me get the old rule here. Hang on, folks. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? We got nine and three quarters. Okay, I'm not too far off. Hang on. And then we got to... Get the last, that's nine and three quarters exact. Almost, hang on. But do I want to go that way or do I want to? Ah. Uh, hang on, folks. Nine and three quarters is working. And that's nine and three quarters and it's going to work. So, let's put a little light pencil line right here. I, I'm sorry, folks. I'm not, I'm not, you're not even able to see. I apologize. What I've done is I've measured this shelf in. You know, and I've nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. And I just put me a little, little light line there. And got both of them. Now... I know where to put my glue, and I'll glue that little darling in, and I'll be ready for some uh, building the other things, is the shelving, uh, the sides and stuff. Yeah. See here, I may raise it up. Oh yeah, I gotta figure out how where I want this at. So I'm trying to have enough equal distance. And everything. And then these sides here, 
they're going to come right around and bend like this. Bend like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> may have to trim that just a frog hair. Yeah, hang on folks. Let me fire up this big saw here. So just come down this thing just a smidge. That big miter saw of mine. I'll tell you something funny this morning. I don't use this saw that much. I have another one that I use a lot. And I had to have a talk with myself. Because I don't use it that much. And I'm like, well, how do you set the miter on it? The compound miter. And I think they're man. And then all of a sudden I look down. I'm like, oh, it's got instructions. Learn to read what's there. And... It will tell you how to set the biter up. You know what? It's not fun getting old. Uh, that fits good right there better. So I think I measured this out at six inches the other day. So I may change it. It's starting to fit the bevel better. Much better right there. Right there actually. Yes. Because this thing goes up and it's tapered. So we've only moved it up and past nine and a quarter. Actually, we went up more than that. We're right at ten and a half. Huh. Hang on. So we're at the top of that mark. So let's put it on that mark right there. Bring that over. And that really fits good. So if we're, we're 10 and 3 eighths. So we need to, right there should be 10 and 3 eighths. At 10 and 3 eighths, it's right there. So there's that. So we need to cut that bevel off right there. Right there. See, I've got to re-bevel that. See, the bevel sets like this. So, I'm going to cut it off right there. Hang on, folks. Alright, let's just see where... Probably just a hair. Alright. Yeah, just a hair. Make it. That bevel is fitting right around it because that's all got a bevel. Comes right around. So let's just take a smidge off of it. You know what a smidge is? Oh. We took a smidge off of it. Gotta sneak up on it. That's the best way to do any of this stuff. Don't get crazy. You know? And I have before. Alrighty. Not bad. It could just have a fraction. All right, let's sneak up on it just a tad more. That's too much of a tad. I do like that saw I got there. It's a big. It's that Bosch saw that is a. It's got a. 
a robotic arm on it. I like it because I don't have to put it on the wall. You know, if you have a sliding slide or saw, it has to set off the wall. It, it, rails can't go anywhere, and that's the reason I... I didn't want that because I lose space in my shop. There you go. So, what do we got here? We have ten and three eighths. And right there would be 10 and 3 eighths. Let's make sure. Yeah. Alright, like I said, I'm going to get this old well bond glue out of here. Let it tack up. Now see, I could have ripped this in half and created those lines that I carved I showed you. But, nah, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that at all. Now, what do we got? Bed. It's ten and three eighths. Let that kind of tack up. Just double check it. Don't hurt the measure. Yeah. Let's check some squareness here. See if she's ninety, and she is. Yes. I'm just trying to, it's not going to work, let's put too much pressure on it. Let's see if I can't sneak one in there. And this little thing. Oh. So, we're just going to have to let it dry. Yeah, all right. Let it tack up. i got to buy more of this glue. God, try to put the cart before the horse. You know? Oh well. I tell people uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. That was my fault. Alright. Let 
that dry. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here with the uh, stapler and shoot a couple staples in it. And then I can true it up with the sander on the side. It, you know, it, it'd be very simple. I have a big sander. Just whoop, there it is. So I'm going to let that darling just set and dry. The bottom was easier because I could clamp different. Let it dry. Uh, I've been working on this stuff here. Some of these shallow relief carvings. There it is. I got a doctor's appointment Thursday. So I'll take a few things to the Burger King and just do some carving and stuff like that. Let's bring you back up here. Do some carving, just sit around. Like I said, I'm not doing much. Or nothing like that. Gotta be careful how I bend and stuff. And kind of hard for an old man to be told what to do, but I guess when you know getting old is not for sissies. You know? It's not. Well, I know this ain't been a very good video, but just wanted to get on here and tell everybody I'm doing fine and you know, I, I feel a lot better. That's one good thing. And especially want to thank everybody that's gave me a lot of love and prayers and over the stuff I've been through here lately. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you for all the comments and all the likes and shares and, and stuff. I know this ain't a, one of the greatest YouTube channels or nothing like that. Everybody knows how to... I, I went on the other day and... I read about Eddington, and I, I just don't understand it. You know, it's not my cup of tea. I, uh, I, I'll be honest. I, maybe I'm, I'm dumber than a box of rocks. Heck, I don't know. But I just don't understand that. I don't. I know how to do a video. This is about as best as I could. And maybe the channel will never grow that much. Lord, I don't know. I'm just trying. So... Thank you all. I appreciate everybody again, and I will just talk to you later. You all have a blessed day.